Hi, welcome to another video. So, many of you might remember Ader. It was really the first agentic coder. It was probably the first one to use something like the XML tool format to do real-world stuff. It was actually awesome. Anyway, it hasn't been getting a lot of updates recently, because Paul, the maintainer of the project, has been working on some other projects, which we'll probably see soon. Anyway, Ader is actually in a state where it already has so many features that it doesn't even need a ton of updates. I'm talking about Ader because I want to talk about Ader Desk. Ader Desk is a new open source repo that is built on top of Ader and basically gives Ader a graphical interface with a ton of other features. It's an Electron app that embeds the normal Python Ader core. That means every prompt you send still goes through the same Git-aware, whole-file editing engine that Paul Gauthier wrote. Every Ader flag you know still works unchanged. It's also a one-click install. So, no Python, no pip, no conda, no Rust toolchain that takes 20 minutes to compile TreeSitter. You literally install it with one click, and it works. It automatically installs all the other libraries for you. It also gives you an interactive GUI for all kinds of Ader-related and AI coding things. Also, it's not entirely based on Ader, as it seems because they say that they have a custom AI agent built upon the Vercel AI SDK that makes plans and stuff before handing off to Ader for the code generation and editing, because Ader is really good at that. There are a ton of features. So now, let's get into it and check this out. To install it, you can just get the package from GitHub and install it, or just clone it and run it. The first time you run it, it will install all the packages required to run it. It's quite simple, nothing too complicated. Then, this interface will open up. It will ask you to configure the main provider that you want to use because that's what it will use. You can also set up sub-agents and everything here as well. It will also ask you to open a folder that you want it to work with. So, just open something up, and then this is what it looks like. Now, on the top, you get the projects. You can open multiple projects, and they'll be sorted as tabs on the top, similar to a browser, which is something that I like. Similarly, on the left, you'll see the tasks that you've delegated in a project. So, if you want to run multiple agents on a single project, you'll do that through here, which is great. On the top here, you'll see the model config. Here, you can select the main model and the weak model. The main model is what's mainly used. The weak model is only used for some trivial tasks, like generating commit messages and summarizing the conversation history as well. So, you can set it to something like Flash, Haiku, or whatever works for you. You can also set the edit tool format between diff, diff fenced, whole, udiff, and so on. Diff is the default, and I generally have it set to that. At the bottom, you have the prompt box where you can type anything, and you can also select between modes. In modes, you get agent mode, code mode, ask mode, architect mode, and context mode. Code mode is the default mode and is the general coding mode where it will only work on the context that you add to it. It won't work on any file apart from the ones you've manually added in the context at the right context panel. Agent mode is what you generally want to use, as it works similarly to Claude code. It can read files, edit files, and do everything autonomously while adding context based on your prompt. It also allows you to set up different types of agents and enable the exact tools you want to give each agent, along with MCPs, rules, and context as well, which is pretty great. By default, you get Power Tools, which has all the edit-related tools. There's also an Ader with Power Search option that allows better file searching and similar advanced capabilities. 
you also get the Architect option. In Architect mode, you can set a planning model that will first plan the changes, which will then be handed off to the Editor model to implement those changes. After this, you also get the Terminal option, which opens a terminal for you to use easily. On the right, you also have context options. Here, if you're using code mode and want to add exact files for it to work with, you can just add a folder of files or specific files here and use them accordingly, which is quite awesome. Also, at the top right, you have settings where you can set up fonts, colors, and stuff like that. You can also set up the providers via the Model Library option, where you can configure the provider that you want to use. It uses OpenCode's model endpoint for models, which is great because you can add most providers here. You also get a usage dashboard where you can track API token usage and the cost incurred for tasks and requests, which is also awesome. If I ask it to do something here, you'll see that it's pretty snappy and it will go ahead and start working on whatever you ask. Similarly, you can delete any message in the thread to make the context better, and it works really well. The tools here are pretty good. It's really fast, and it works smoothly. It's graphical, too, allowing you to use it in different ways. If you give it an edit task, it will give you an implementation plan with a to-do list, which allows you to mark tasks as checked yourself, or the AI does it as it goes. The interface is extremely intuitive, and the agent is also amazing. It's really great for professional use when you need to have multiple agents running on different tasks. Ader's agentic capabilities combined with this are really powerful, and it all works incredibly well. That's about it. I won't go into capabilities because I haven't tested that extensively, but in general, it produces good results on par with what you'd get with Claude or OpenCode, and Ader is already awesome. That's mainly about it. Go ahead and use it all you want. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.